Prophet said, Wa And when you commit any crime, ideally don't commit it. But again, you and I are all humans and we commit. In kana la yarjuka illa muhsin. The poet says, Allah, if only the pious can hope for you, then where do we go? Allah, if only the pious can turn to you, where do we go? Undoubtedly, his doors are open. If you do perchance commit a sin, and that's the essence of my topic, listen to me, my brother and my sister. Give me your undivided attention. May Allah reward Sheikh Hussein for inviting me all the way from South Africa. I'm here for two days only in your country. I hope my short stay can leave me motivated and you motivated, and it can become the means of our salvation on the day of Qiyamah. Whenever you do commit any wrong, then at least follow it up with a good deed that will erase the ill effect of yourself. Now, in theory, we all know what is wrong. I don't have to tell you, you don't have to tell me. You know the things that are forbidden. In Allah, فَرَضَ فَرَائِضَ فَلَا تُضَيِّعُوهَا وَحَدَّ حُدُودًا فَلَا تَعْتَدُوهَا وَسَكَتَ عَنْ عَشْيَاءَ رَحْمَةً لَكُمْ غَيْرَ نِسْيَانٍ فَلَا تَبْحَثُوا عَنْهَا Allah has ordained limits and Allah has made certain things obligatory and certain things forbidden. But for whatever reason, we succumb to that wrong and we commit it. So you know Saturday night, you shouldn't be messing around with that girl, but for whatever reason, you did it. You shouldn't be gambling, but you gamble. You shouldn't be involved in interest, but you have. My message is to you not to provoke you or advocate to you to commit the sin. But my message to you is that if you have committed the wrong, my brother, there is still hope. There is still hope. There was a sister here from North America, from Canada. I hope she is here and if she's not here, may Allah take my message to her. She had sent me an email and I praise her and I compliment her. And it brought tears to my eyes. She said, Sheikh, I have led a life unmindful of Allah and oblivious of Allah. And I have tattoos on my body. And now I have regretted and I want direction in my life. My question is, will my Allah accept my prayers like this or not? My sister, yes, Allah will accept your prayers. Ya sahib al-dhambi la taqnatinna, fa inna al-ilaha raufun rauf. O sana, don't despair, you are dealing with a kind Allah. O oh, sana, I don't want any man or any sister to walk out despondent. I want every brother to walk out of here with hope that there is a future for him. What does Allah say? وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يُصِرُّوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Those who when they commit a wrong, they reflect. It hurts them, it haunts them, it bothers them. And they turn to Allah and seek for forgiveness. And who is there besides Allah that can forgive? Two things I'll mention about this ayah. When this verse was revealed, the devil cried. That he said, as long as the believers have this concession, I have no hope. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, هذه الآيه خير لأهل الذنوب من الدنيا وما فيها There is nothing that can give more solace to the sinner than this verse. There is nothing that can give more comfort to the perpetrator than this verse. Whatever your crime is, be you an adulterer or an adulteress, be you a thief or a thug, be you whatever, as long as you repent sincerely to Allah, this verse say Allah's doors are open for you. And really speaking, you know at times, creation makes us appreciate how merciful Allah is. If a man is cheating against his wife, and I'm not saying cheat, please. You know, this 55 year old man asked his wife, do you feel offended when I run behind young girls? This 55 year old man asked his wife, do you feel offended? She says, no, why should I even dogs run behind cars? Why should I feel offended? Even dogs run behind cars. That is why they say this father asked his son, Oh my son, what type of wife you want? He said, Chan ki tarah. Like a moon. So he says, Oh my son, what do you mean by the moon? He said, Jorat ko aaye aur din ko chali jaye. <laughs> One who appears by night and disappears by morning. But I'm not referring to our sisters here, no, no. Make no mistake. <laughs> 
Allah saying, after you've committed a wrong, follow it up by a good action. Tamhuha, it will erase the effect of your sin. Now I want to show to you briefly, in the life of Sahaba, they are also human and hence they are prone to sin. And we all are prone to sin. In fact, in one hadith I read, and I take so much solace from this hadith, that the Prophet Sallallahu said, that low lam tudhnibu, if you were not to sin, I feared a greater sin, and that is arrogance over the fact that you're sinless. If you were not to sin, I feared you would have become obsessed with your pure nature. But now when we talk about piety, every man drops his gaze because each man's evil haunts him and he flashes before him. You are saying what you know about me because you only know her. My wife who doesn't know me in its entirety, she cannot respect me. She cannot respect me. So you can imagine, you know, I've said this in California and many sisters have heard it and they always tell it to my wife. But I share it with you again. My wife always tells me that before I got married, when I proposed to her, she used to listen to my lectures very passionately. This is what she says, Allah knows best. <laughs> anyway, she says daily by night, she used to listen, sleep with it, get up. But I married 11 years, she hasn't heard one. <laughs> Since I married, I don't blame her. In fact, she tells me, and I respect her for this, you sound more pious than you are. <laughs> you sound more pious than you are. Because that's, we know our reality. What did Allah say? You know, you tell a man, don't flatter yourself. Don't trumpet yourself. I know you when you were a child. Allah says, don't praise you. Don't praise yourself. I know you from the very time I intended your creation. Not from the time you were born or you were a fetus. So it's difficult to impress a man who's got his past, who's got your past before you. Now what I'm saying is we've all come at wrong. And I want, to, I want to show to you from the hadith. The riwayat comes in Bukhari. Imam Bukhari mentions it in his first volume, Babun as salatu kafara. That good actions is an atonement for your wrong. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud says, Anna rajulan atan sallallahu wa sallam. One person came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, Oh Prophet of Allah, help me. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, What? He says, I've kissed a woman. And now I feel bad about what I've done. And that's the young boy I'm targeting. I want to speak to that boy and that girl who's done the wrong. And I guess I'm speaking to all because which one of us doesn't have sins? In taghfir taghfir Allahumma jamma wa ayyu abdin laka la alimma Allah, if you forgive, forgive us all. Which one of your servant hasn't sinned against you? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, أقم الصلاة طرف النهار وزلفا من الليل إن الحسنات يذهبن السيئات. Listen, you've done a wrong. Perform salah in the morning and the night, on the two ends of the days and in the night. Verily, the continuous performance of good deeds will erase the ill effect of your sins. So you've done a wrong. Go do some good. Go do some good. Now I'll explain in more detail. The same hadith I'll go to you for hadith from Ibn Kathir rahimahumullah. The next hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud says, One person came to the Prophet وسلم, and said, Ya Rasulullah, every one of us will be able to relate to one or, or the other of the scenarios that will be explained. Inni wajadtum ra'atan fi bustani. O Nabi of Allah, I'm, I am not, I'm not proud to tell you, but I want to tell you, I found a beautiful woman in a garden and in an orchard. What they say in Arabic, Nadrun fabtisamun fakalamun famaw'idu. First it's the gaze, then it's the smile, then it's exchange in phone numbers, and thereafter the sin is committed. That is only for someone getting married, I can share those couplets. O Prophet of Allah, I seen this woman, I fell upon her. 
that he came emphatically and he said before the Prophet ﷺ, I did with her possibly everything that any young man would do with a beautiful woman. But Alhamdulillah, I have not actually perpetrated the act of zina. I hugged her, I kissed her, I, I did many other things, but I did not perpetrate the actual action. Is there any hope for me? Is there any hope for me? Umar radiallahu says, I looked at this man and I said, لَقَدْ سَتَرَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ لَوْ سَتَرَ عَلَىٰ نَفْسِ Listen, we don't want to know what you did. Allah, conceal your fault, go from your man. What are you telling us? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi lowered his gaze. Jibreel descended. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, call that young man back. The Prophet Sallallahu said, listen, Allah has revealed something for you. There's some concession. أَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ تَرَفَيِ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِّنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ ذَلِكَ ذِكْرَى لِلذَّاكِرِينَ Allah says, perform salah and do good deeds. Allah will cancel all your sins. Allah will cancel all your sins. Now when the concession came out, when he initially came and he proclaimed his son, then everybody said, what is this man talking? But when they heard the concession, then somebody stood up and he said, Allahu khassa amlin nasi amma. Now tell us, O Prophet of Allah, is that concession applicable to us also? Or is it exclusive to him? Because each man seen his own sons before him. The Prophet said, no, no, bandin nasi amma. This concession is open to my entire ummah till the day of Qiyamah. Hence, it includes the North American youth. And it includes everyone in the entire world. You've done a wrong, the world is not over. But be honest in your regret. Be sincere in your lamenting. Allah loves those tears. Ruhul Ma'ani, one riwayat under Surah Al-Qadr, لَأَنِينُ Mudnibin. Allah says the regrets of the sinners leaves me more impressed than the piety of the pious.